Hello and welcome to Thought for June the 4th. Our readings are Joshua chapter 22, Isaiah chapter 28 and Hebrews chapter 11. And our thought is by faith. Today we read the well-known 11th chapter of Hebrews. It starts, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. This is the vital lesson we must take to heart in reading this chapter, that having faith is having a state of mind that must cause us to lead different lives, different priorities, to have different aims. We live our lives in service to our Saviour, accomplishing things in His service. Read the chapter and notice how often the words by faith occur. By faith Noah, by faith Abraham, by faith Sarah. Our faith is not just something we talk about or listen to others talking about. We read today of many examples of men and women of faith, highlighting in many cases some particular deed that prove the nature of their faith. It is most valuable to look on into the first two verses of tomorrow's chapter. It starts... Therefore, therefore we should put the chapter break after verse 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, that is, all the, those examples of men and women of faith in chapter 11, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus the founder and perfecter of our faith. We must search our hearts as to how effectively we are living our lives so that he sees that our faith has developed real strength, that we have acquired a real sense of teamwork with our Saviour and our God, that our lives demonstrate that we are working together with him. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1. May we all be able to look back on our lives, on the journey in developing greater and greater faith, to see how we have been made strong out of weakness. Because we have developed a real conviction of things not seen. And we are not of those who shrink back, but of those who have faith and preserve their souls. Chapter 10 verse 39. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that it is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.